Hello and welcome back to the Card RPG Scriptable Object Tutorial. My name is Krasenstein. This is part 8. And we're going to be working on creating the enemy scriptable object so that we can add multiple enemies to the game. So after the last video was put up, uh, there was a bug that was found by one of the viewers. Basically what the bug is is when Aerial Flip is the last card that uses up your stamina, the, draw, the new card draw will still be blue. So we need to add a call to a certain spot to fix that. So let's open up uh, the card manager. So we double click, double click on card manager. And at the end of the draw cards uh, method, which we can use this little arrow, up, this little drop down up here which says update display, or it, it'll say whatever functions in front of you, right? So if I click on load deck, it'll show load deck. So I can click here, and I can, this is everything in this script. So I can actually find draw cards. And it'll bring me right to it. So at the end of draw cards, we should do a call for update display. So after this card card, update display. And that will fix the, the little issue. So thank you to the person who found that bug. So now we can move into the enemy. So we are going to create a scriptable object for the enemy. We're going to go into the scriptable objects folder. We're going to right click and make a new script called enemy data. So we need to create the data, the data class for the actual enemy. So let's open that up. Double click it to open it. If it lets you. And because it's a scriptable object, we're going to get rid of start and update. We're going to change mono behavior to scriptable object. And above it, we're going to do a I have uh, a square bracket. We're going to do create asset menu. And inside the parentheses, it's going to ask for a file name. So file name equals enemy uh, underscore menu name equals new enemy. There's a couple things that need to be added for it. So we need a public, we need enemy types, which we will make that enum for, which doesn't exist yet. Enemy type. We need a string of enemy name. We need a public integer of max HP. We need a public uh, integer of attack damage. Like the strength, basically. So we can even call it strength if you want to instead. And now we're going to do something where it's going to be system.serializable. It's going to be a public struct enemy intent. Enemy intents. What a struct is, is like a partial class. And we'll be able to use multiple of these to create a series of data, uh, data types. So with an enemy intent, we're going to be able to add in... Um, and basically what, what enemy intents are is every enemy needs to show you what they're about to do for an attack or a block or anything like that you know, so that you can react with your cards accordingly. And it's going to happen at the start of every turn. We're going to add in a public enemy intense type array called intent, which is another enum we're going to be making. And a public int amount is basically how strong that intent is. So then up here, now we need to actually reference that. So public enemy intents uh, with the square brackets for an array, all intents. So now let's go make the enemy, the enemy types and the enemy intents types. So we're going to go back here and we're going to go to the enum section. I'm going to do a create new C sharp script, call it enemy types. And we're going to do another script too. We're going to make two scripts first. So we were going to make another one as well. It's going to be called enemy intense types. Now we're going to open one of them. Doesn't matter which one you choose first. Let's choose the enemy types one first. These are all the enemy types that exist in the game. All right? So we're going to get rid of start, uh, start an update. We're going to get rid of this part, call this an enum, in lowercase letters. And 
we're going to do goblin, orc, and wizard. You can add as many type here as you want. does not matter. Then we're going to hit the control, comma, control and comma and, and open enemy intense. Enemy intense types. Same thing. Script will, or, um, get rid of this part. Enum. Get rid of start and update. And this is the types of intents. So we have the attack intent. We have a defend intent. We have a buff intent. We have this. And we have a disable intent. Okay. So now, if we were to go back to the enemy data, you can now see this doesn't think it exists. Oh, yes. Yeah, so we have to get rid of. So first, we have to go back to Unity. So we accidentally called this types. It should just be called type. So you're going to hit F2, change the name of that script. Then you have to go back into the script and get rid of the S. They have to, the script name has to match the class name as well. Now there's no more errors. There we go. Now we're good. So that's everything for the enemy data type. And we'll go back to Unity. We're going to make a new folder inside scriptable objects. We're going to make two folders in here. We're going to create... So inside resources, scriptable objects, going to create a new folder called cards. And we're going to create another new folder called enemies. Highlight all the cards, drop them in there. Enemies are going to go in here. We have two enemies types to make. So inside the folder, we're going to do a right click, create new enemy. We're going to do enemy and underscore. We're going to do passive goblin. He's a goblin type. And we have a, his name is Passive Goblin. He has 10 HP. And we'll give him two strength. And then we're going to uncollapse this all intense thing. We're going to make him actually have four intents. So he had four and it breaks them out. So now you can see there's an intense and there's a mount. So the first intent going to be an attack intent. He's going to attack for two damage. The second intent, we're going to make the size one again, is going to be another attack. So this will be a stronger hit. And it'll be five damage. The third one will be a disable attack. With, that does zero damage, and we'll be adding in the this, the disable types and everything in, in the in the near future. The fourth one is going to be a defense, so he will have a block. And he'll be able to block six damage. So that's the path of goblins' intents, basically the way that he attacks, his strength, all that fun stuff. Let's make another one. We're going to call this one actually the angry goblin. So, this is the Angry Goblin. He has 20 health and 5 strength. He also, he also has, he has 3 intents. And the first intent is an attack for 10 damage. A lot. It's a lot. The second one is an attack and a disable. And the attack, the, the attack part will do 7 damage. When we get to the effects, he'll be putting vulnerable on you as well. And the last one is a defend of 12. So those are the two enemies that we're going to be adding so far. So now all we need to do is we need to create a prefab of the enemy. Inside the main scripts tab, you're going to right click and create a new script called enemy. We're going to open that script up. Do a public enemy data data so that way we can when we create the enemy we can attach the data in we're going to do a header here so it's easier to see everything so, so, so a square bracket header we're going to call that header enemy information so enemy info we're going to do a public string we're going to do e name do a public enemy type e type 
Right, so this is where all of the information from the scriptable object is going to transpose to. So a int of max, max HP, a int of strength, and a int of blocked damage. We're going to add, we're going to be using Unity Engine UI. So we're going to have a public slider, health slider, a public image of health slider fill, so that the color can change based on the health, and public color blocked color, so the the health the health value like the color of the health bar will change blue if there's block damage too. We need a couple more things that we're not going to be attaching yet this this video, but we're going to set them up in here. Public game object of current blocked display to show how much uh, block there is. Um, we need two texts, so we need a text for health text and another text for enemy name. Now we need another header. And that header is going to be enemy intense display. So this is the st the stuff that shows all of that, right? So we need a public image, and it's going to be intent image, so that we can show what kind of intent there is. We can do public text intent intent amount text, and a public text of blocked amount display. Then we need four sprites, public sprite. We need sprite underscore intent attack. We're gonna copy this so it's easier to type. We do three more of them. We're just gonna change the end of each one. So defense, buff, and disable. We're gonna add in a public list of enemy data dot enemy intents called this turn intent equals a new and we're going to hit enter to, to set the list up and we do public int this turn intent strength now we're going to create a property for health so we do serialize field and we're going to do uh, private int current hp then right underneath it, public int current HP with a capital C, because that'll be the one we modify. We'll do a get return. So open brackets for those. Current HP for the lowercase. And then after one of the brackets type set, open a new bracket group. Do current HP equals value. And then call handle health. Basically, it says every time we modify the HP, we want it to modify this number, but also call this method. Okay, so we're going to be setting that up as well. So we need start. So you just hit, type start, hit enter. And we can call collect info from data. And now we're going to actually call this. So double click this. Enter twice, do a private void and paste that. But different from data, right? Oh. Right, no no semicolon. Open brackets. We're gonna do if e data is equal to null. Then we're gonna just destroy game object and return. Right? Otherwise we're going to pass in the information for, from the e-data. So e-data, so from the scriptable object, we're going to pull the name. We're going to pull the type. e-data, e-type equals enemy type. Max HP equals e-data dot max HP. Strength equals e-data dot strength. We're going to do health slider dot max value equals max HP. And we do enemy name dot text equals ename dot to upper. And we'll do current HP 
equals max HP, which then we'll check the handle health method, which was what we're doing now. So we need the private void, we need to call handle health. This is what happens to the health with certain criteria, right? So if current HP, we can do a lowercase c here because we're inside this. Otherwise, it will, if we do a capital, capital C in any of this method, it'll call itself forever and crash the game. So if current HP is less than or equal to zero, first off, current HP becomes zero. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna show game over. And then destroy this game object. So actually, instead of show game over, it's gonna be more show end match screen. Right? So if the enemy is dead, show the end match screen and then destroy it. The next criteria, so if it doesn't if it doesn't get destroyed this turn, we do if current HP again lowercase is greater than max HP. We're going to set up current HP to just equal max HP. Then we have the health slider dot value to equal the current HP so that we actually have the right spot on the bar. And health text dot text is going to equal string dot format. And we're going to do a parenthesis. And inside the quotation marks, we're going to do curly bracket zero slash curly bracket one. And after the, after the quotes, we're going to do a comma and type current HP with lowercase c, max HP. So that way it fills that in. If block damage is less than or equal to zero, then block damage is zero. I'll slider fill dot color equals color dot red. And current block display dot set active is going to be false. So that's the, we've now set up the basic part of the enemy and we've set up all of the enemy scriptual object data and the different types that, of intents that enemies can have. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be working on the next video. We'll be finishing out the enemy script and setting up the enemy manager. If you liked it, please, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you really like the video and you uh, want updates on the next tutorial, please hit, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, we do have a Patreon. This is where the videos get uploaded one week in advance for, for Patreons to see first. So if you guys wanted to hang out there, you could too. But again, guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.